In this lesson, we're going to solve equations involving algebraic fractions. We begin with solving x over 3 minus x over 4 is equal to 2. To begin with, I'm going to deal with each denominator in turn. So first of all, the opposite of dividing by 3 is times in by 3. So I need to multiply every term by 3. And these 3s will cancel. So I'm left with x minus 3x over 4 is equal to 6. And now I need to get rid of the division of 4 by multiplying everything by 4. So I'm left with 4x minus 3x, because these will cancel, will equal to 24. And 4x minus 3x is 1x. So x will equal 24. And next we've got y over 2 plus y over 3 equals negative 5. So I want to begin by multiplying every term by the 2. Because this division and multiplication of the 2 will cancel. So this becomes y plus 2y over 3 will equal negative 10. And now I'm going to multiply every term by 3. So these will cancel, which is 3y plus 2y will equal negative 30. And this will make 5y equals negative 30. So divide both by 5 and y will equal negative 6. And next for question C, we have a over 6 minus 2a over 3 equals 3. In this case, I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 because 3 is a factor of 6. So that gives me a over 6 minus 4a over 6 is equal to 3. The reason why I've done this is because I can now write it as a minus 4a all over 6 is equal to 3. And I can multiply both sides by 6. So a minus 4a will equal to 18 minus 3a by collecting these two terms together will equal 18. So a will equal minus 6. And next we have x plus 1 over 2 plus x minus 1 over 3 equals 1. So again, I'm going to use a similar method to what I did with question C. I'm going to make a common denominator, multiply this 1 by 3 and multiply this 1 by 2. That will give me a common denominator of 6. So I have 3x plus 3 plus multiplying this fraction by 2, 2x minus 2 over 6 equals 1. So I've kept the same fractions, I've just written them as an equivalent fraction with a common denominator. So I've got 3x plus 3 plus 2x minus 2 all over 6 equals 1. So 3x add 2x equals 5x. 3 take away 2 is 1. And that is equal to 6. I can move the division of 6 to the other side. So 5x will equal 5 and x will equal 1. And finally, for question E, we have 5 over 6x minus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3x. There's a couple of ways of doing this. But I think I'm going to move each denominator in turn. I'll begin with multiplying every term by 6x. So here I'm left with 5 minus 6x over x plus 1 equals 6x over 3x. And these will cancel to make 2. 5 minus 6x over x plus 1 will equal 2. 
and now I multiply every term by x plus 1. So I have 5x plus 5 minus, and these will cancel, so 6x will equal 2x plus 2. So now I have 5x take away 6x, which is minus x plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 2. I'm going to add x to both sides. So these will cancel. 5 will equal 3x plus 2. I take away with 2 from both sides. So 5 take away 2 with 3 will equal 3x. Divide both sides by 3. And x will equal 1. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out the full lesson and worksheet on mrmathematics.com.